Hello everyone, this is uh, another review for the Magic OS 8 um, the new features at Fab Reviews so uh, let's um, let's get into it it's some of the features a lot of people have been asking questions but a few more features that are really handy is for example this one whenever you've got more, more apps under a folder you can extend the folder leave it how you like it minimize it or leave it on the natural way like the way it is like this or you could make it like that, whatever's actually easy for you. Another really nice feature is when you go into settings, for example, yeah, a lot of you have been asking me whether you can actually change the notification part, and the answer is yes, you can. So if I go into notifications, go down, and home screen settings, here we go. So there's an option called swipe down, the swipe down, if I change, I could change it to notification or control center. If I change it to this, then it would change to control center. For example, if I'm the home screen, so it could just go like that. It just comes up like that, or go like that on this way. I got notifications there, there. Uh, I prefer the search option, but some people prefer it differently. So I prefer the standard search option. Other features that are really handy that um, I use quite often is, um, I mean, there, there's some unbelievable upgrades on this one. So there are upgrades that um, I didn't think they would actually introduce, but they're really, really nice ones. For example, if I go in here, I guess you already know AI suggestions, where it actually suggests what type of apps it is um, by default on the basis of your usage. Magic text is super handy. For example, like when I need to take a photo of something, I need to I need to copy that data, I can do that. So all I do is take a photo of it and then copy that data and actually put it in uh, in my in my inbox um, or wherever I need to use that data. Then you've got this magic portal. Do you know what? At first I didn't really use magic portal quite a lot because I didn't really see the need for it. But now more and more features are coming in and I'm starting to apply this to it. For instance, um, if I want to take a screenshot of something, so let's say if I take a screenshot of this, and if I'd like to, well, let's do something different. So let's take a screenshot of uh, a product or something. So we go on to the browser. Let's see, we take a screenshot of this. Okay, Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. So I'm going to take a screenshot of it there. So I hold it, and then I go here. Then I'm going to Google image search. You see Google search automatically changes to Google image search. Or if I want to share with people, I could just drop it and it will start showing me. If I want to send it as an attachment, as an email, I can just send it as an attachment of an email. If I want to search it there, if I want to upload it on TikTok, I want to send it to people on Teams. And there's more. If I want to save it here under Teams and everything or under my notes, I could do that. So for example, let's say if we try this. And finally go. And as you will see, the image search found the product right there. So yeah, it's a, it's a lovely, handy feature. Uh, there's another feature that a lot of people have been asking is uh, how to minimize the screen. And it's lovely, there's a new feature. So you go right at the bottom and you drag it, you drag it to this corner and you let it go. So the app sits there and then whatever you're doing, you're browsing, it's fine. So it just sits there. And you tap on it and it opens up and if you tap back on something now um but remember if you minimize it it will turn into a bubble so that's a bubble but if you want to move it back up there so you just do it that way in the corner now this is resizing by the way like that you just grab it put it in the corner there and leaves there but if you want to open the whole thing in full screen you double tap it boom done so a lot of lovely features. Going back onto the settings menu, there are more features. For example, air gestures, I think everybody knows this, the air scroll. So if you have the, I mean, for example, if I'm in this menu, I can use my hand upside down. And if I move it up, it scrolls the screen. If I move my hand like that, I bring it down like that. And then bring it down, I think it's already scrolled like that. There, scrolling. And then upside down hand would mean, come on, recognize my hand, upside down hand. 
and then going up take a screenshot hold your hand palm there screenshot done and make a fist of it so lovely features like those um, i haven't seen a phone to have such features smart sensing this is a lovely feature at first i didn't really use this like keep the screen on while looking i think that was available on uh, magic 5 pro glance to reduce the ringer this is lovely so for example when a call is coming through and when the camera up there actually recognizes my eyes the ringer volume goes down um, only show the always on display when it actually recognizes my face and this one at first it was annoying because i was sitting using my phone and then my screen would tilt to the left and right. And I was like, what's really going on? But that's when I understood what's really going on. So if uh, the camera up there recognizes the where your eyes are. So for example, I don't need to unlock anything. If I tilt my head towards the right, it will automatically bend it to this way. And when I tilt my head straight, it just come back straight. Again, that way. And then that way. I think it works both ways. So if I go this way. So if I just go this way. Yeah, it works this way as well. Yeah, lovely feature. So for example, when you're watching a video or something. So uh, if I was watching uh, a clip. All I have to do is just tilt my head left or right. I don't have to go mess around with the settings up there. I don't have to do anything with regards to this auto rotate settings or something. Not, nothing to worry about. Um, other nice features that I love about the phone and accessibility you've got this multi window support as you guys already know so whenever a notification comes through I mean everybody knows this one the dock so you can hold it and you can put it here and it will turn into a mini window uh, and uh, if you want to close it you can just close it from there but there are certain apps that you could use in a, in a split screen. For example, let's say, what happened? Make it big. And then go here. And then go into notes. I don't think calculator works with split screen. Yeah, it does. So here we go. Up, down. That's split screen mode. So we got both options running. Then what do we have? Uh, other features that are handy that I use quite a lot are, uh, yeah, under the screen the, the the volume rocker. I think this was there. I got it through an update uh, earlier on. So if you go into home screen display settings, and if you go down, you see this part, display in the bottom right hand corner. That's one option. Draw style. Home screen setting style. We already covered the search part. Icon size, you can change those as well. The search button on the home screen. I think there's a button that comes up there. Boom. Like that. So you can search the apps. And uh, there's one more that I need to show you guys. It was, I believe, under. Doo -doo -doo. I think it was under accessibility. Shortcuts and gestures. Yeah. So there's a quick launch button. So quickly press the volume down button twice when the screen is off. So when you go in there, it allows you to give you an option to launch the camera only. Launch the camera, take a photo, or switch on the torch. I've kept it on torch, so it's a lot easier to actually use the torch. Um, the, you used to use the knock effect to take the screenshots. Double knock would take the screenshots. But when I was using an Oppo phone, Oppo phone also has a three finger swipe down. So they've just introduced the three finger swipe down as well. You could add other apps to it. Like you could add other features like global favorites or turn it off. I prefer all the options available to me. And um, record the screen. You guys all know that one. So wake up screen is there. Double tap. Raise the phone to the air. I, I like using this one. So you see now when I look at the call when it's coming through, the volume already goes down. All I have to do is just pick up the phone and put it next to my ear and boom, it works. Yeah, and that's about it, I guess. Um, these are the features that are marvelous. And uh, I think it does make this phone a very, very competitive phone. I haven't seen an Apple phone do this. I haven't seen a Samsung phone do this. That's the reason why I think Honor is the best these days.
uh, I mean plus I mean the fact that if you go into DXO mark to look at the ratings you will see something shocking that the best phone when it comes to cameras is an honor phone best phone going on to selfies also an honor phone best phone for audio yes not the best but the second best there best phone when it comes to display honor best phone coming to battery honor why are people buying an iphone 15 pro max right there when it's ranked so poorly when it comes to battery if you don't have battery on your phone none of the features matter anyways yeah anyways i'll see you guys later remember to like subscribe and uh, i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye